Hi, Washington Street friends. I'm happy to see you today. Last week, we had some pretty loud thunderstorms. And I don't know about you, but when I was a little girl, I was afraid of storms. I was especially afraid of tornadoes because we had tornadoes where I lived quite a bit. But my dad was always careful to make me feel better and safe during storms. Well, we have a story today about a storm that happened in the Bible, and I'm going to read it to you, and then we'll talk a little bit about it when the story's done. One evening, Jesus asked some of his disciples to take him in a boat across Lake Galilee. He had been talking to the people all day and healing the ill ones, and he was very tired. When the disciples pushed the boat out onto the water, Jesus lay down and was soon fast asleep. The lake was very calm with just a gentle breeze blowing. The disciples hoisted the sail and the boat skimmed away across the smooth water. When it was far from the shore, the wind started blowing stronger and stronger until there was a great storm. The waves grew higher and higher, splashing into the boat. The disciples were very scared. Some of them had been fishermen and knew how dangerous storms on the lake could be. They were afraid the boat would fill with water and sink. Although the noise of the wind was very loud, and the boat was tossed around by the waves. Jesus didn't stir. Can you imagine? Jesus didn't wake up and the boat was pitching back and forth and Jesus was sound asleep. At last, one of the disciples could bear it no longer. He shook Jesus to wake him up. Master, please save us, he shouted. Can't you see we're all going to drown? Jesus woke up and looked at the storm for a moment. Then he stood up, raised his arm, and said, Hush, be still. At once the wind dropped, the waves subsided, and the lake was calm again. Why were you afraid? Jesus asked his disciples. Don't you believe that I will take care of you? The disciples didn't know what to say. They felt a little afraid of Jesus. They whispered to each other, Who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey his commands? The boat sailed gently on, and Jesus and his disciples safely reached the far shore of the lake. Now I want to show you this picture. See, the boat is almost on its side, and the disciples are terrified that it's going to turn over. And look at Jesus, sound asleep, just snoring away. So they did not know that Jesus could be trusted to help them, and that frustrated Jesus just a little bit. But you know, what I wanna to talk to you about is that when you're afraid, you can talk to your mom or dad and they will help you feel better. Or you can talk to another grown-up that you trust and that grown-up will listen and help you feel better. But you can also talk to Jesus about the things that you're afraid of. And when you do that, sometimes you'll feel him helping your spirit hush and feel still. And that is our lesson today. Let's bow our heads, fold our hands, and close our eyes. God, thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus is the one who can calm our storms and help us when we're afraid to be still. We love you, God. Bless all the children at Washington Street. Amen.